I think this government has a, a misplaced approach to crime and violence in this country. Um, I've always said to my colleagues that we should resist the temptation to try to capitalize on crime when there's a spike in crime in this country. And I would hope that the government would also resist the temptation to boast and beat their chest when there's a lull in crime and violence in the country. Because the truth of the matter is that crime and violence is a national problem. It's not a partisan one. It's a vexing problem. It's one that's bedeviled successive administrations over the years. But if I'm to be honest, then I have to say that we just seem to be outclassed and outmatched by the criminals. Um, our police department, they're just in over their heads, um, and they can't keep up. No matter how much ammunition and how many guns they get, they can't keep up. No matter how many boots we put on the ground, they can't keep up. The truth of the matter is that the solution from the government is more officers. The issue is that crime and violence starts with a decaying economic environment. And our government has not responded to that the way they should have. The truth of the matter is that we should not be in this position that we are today. But this government has wasted millions and millions and millions of dollars on projects. They've put projects over people.